Hi guys, it's uh, Jackie Ann from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine with another episode of Malaysian Ingredients Made Easy. Now, in this particular series, I collaborate with the Malaysian Agriculture Council Office of Sydney to talk about different Malaysian ingredients. What happens is they send me the Malaysian ingredients and I figure out different ways to use it in your kitchen. Now, in this particular episode, we are covering jackfruit okay malaysian jackfruit and i'm going to give you eight different ways to use it now first of all i'm just going to mention that when you think of jackfruit nowadays when you google jackfruit invariably the articles that come out cover jackfruit the way vegans would have it in the west okay ja the uh, jackfruit is nowadays seen as a meat substitute now in that for instance they're talking about young jackfruit that's not what we're on about today we're talking about beautiful ripe malaysian jackfruit that you can eat straight and it's sweet and it's a uh, golden yellow in color okay so that's what we're going to cover today now uh, of the eight different ways to use this uh, jackfruit we have Zaleha Olpin, who's one of our Masters of Malaysian Cuisine chefs. She has two suggestions. First of all, is to use it in a simple tea time cake, okay? What you want to do is just slice up your jackfruit into strips and then just mix it into a cake batter and bake it. Her family loves it. It looks absolutely scrumptious. If you want the recipe, make sure you stick around to the end. I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on all the recipes we're covering today okay now uh, her other way to use this again is in a cake this time it's a layer cake it's what she calls a sour plum and jackfruit layer cake sounds really really intriguing looks absolutely gorgeous um, so make sure you stick around to find out how you can get a hold of Zaleha's recipes now the way I would use jackfruit is first of all I can use it in pancakes okay who doesn't love pancakes um, you just pick your favorite pancake batter recipe at some um, bits of jackfruit into it into the batter mix it up and then just cook it up on a griddle and then serve up your pancakes with uh, honey maple syrup with uh, ice cream or cream or even with some jackfruit sauce so we're going to talk about that a little bit further on um, another way to use jackfruit is in what we call in Malay chuchor, which is a uh, fritters okay we Malaysians like to deep fry a lot of sweet and savory snacks okay in this particular instance what you can do is make your chuchor batter and show you how to make it really really crispy um, and you know, dip your jackfruit into it and then just fry it up and then uh, serve it up as a nice crunchy sweet uh, snack for all the family okay uh, you can make the batter different ways uh, you can make it like quite dense or you can make it quite light and crispy as well like tempera okay um, another way to use it is in kaya now kaya is what we know in Malaysia as a coconut and pandan jam now usually pandan or what is usually known as Malaysian vanilla is readily available maybe you want some variety or maybe you don't have pandan okay use some jackfruit so what you want to do is blend your jackfruit and add it to your kaya mixture which is just very very simple sugar coconut cream and eggs all blended together with the jackfruit and now usually kaya takes a long time to cook uh, traditionally they'll tell you to uh, cook it in a water bath gently stirring it for you know for hours till it thickens up to a custody consistency now what I like to do I like shortcuts what I do is after I've blended it I pour it into a pan and I bake it in the oven on low heat for about an hour take it out it will have set it might have even browned up a little bit that's totally fine uh, throw it back into a blender or use a stick processor uh, to blend it uh, to a soft smooth custody paste okay and then what you can do with kaya just spread it on your toast and use it in pancakes uh, and lots of lots of different ways in between okay now uh, another way to use it this is one of my favorites is with sticky rice okay now um, sticky rice uh, again traditionally they'll tell you to soak the sticky rice or so glutinous rice uh, with water overnight and then steam it okay that uh, again I like shortcuts what I do is I pour some hot boiling water over the sticky rice and cover it for 15 minutes once uh, everything's uh, it's kind of like been soaked through I then just take out the rice and cook it in a rice cooker the way you would normal rice okay in this particular instance I want the rice to be sweet so I add some sugar to it okay um, you can skip that if you want to cut down on the sugar or if you want it rich and creamy you can also add in view of more water uh, you can add some coconut cream as well okay so but in any case sugar and water and sticky rice will be good for me and I cook it and then once it's done 
I just scoop it out and stuff it into the jackfruit, okay? And then what you want to do is just serve it up with some sauce if you like, okay? Some coconut sauce that you can separately cook up and where you would do it, just some coconut cream or coconut milk uh, with a pinch of salt, just simmer it till it's done, let it cool down and then use it as a sauce over your sticky rice and nanka jackfruit. Um, and also in sago, okay? Now, uh, a couple of different ways to use the sago, but first of all, I'll tell you how to cook sago because a lot of people get confused. What you want to do, bring a pot of water to a boil, make sure there's enough water, and then you add the sago pearls in, and then you cook it up. Um, it should be on a fairly rolling boil, okay? Cook it up and stir it. Now, the sago pearls are going to be completely white to start with, but as they cook, they will start to get translucent. And what you want to do is keep an eye on the translucency to the point where it's almost completely translucent, but still has a little white speck in the middle. That's when you know you can turn off the heat. Uh, but what you want to do is cover the pot with the lid, okay? Uh, and then leave it covered for another 10 minutes or so. It will continue cooking the sago pearls till they're completely translucent. When that's done, Take off the lid and then you want to strain the sago pearls over cold running water. Wash out some of the starch, okay? And your sago pearls are ready for use, okay? Now, I mentioned there are two different ways to use this. First of all, what you can do is transfer the sago pearls back into a saucepan, add some coconut milk or coconut cream, and add your pieces of jackfruit and sugar and simmer it and then the sugar is all dissolved and then you can serve it up uh, in just bowls and it will be like a sweet soup uh, you know popular among the Asians and you can serve it hot or cold both ways it is delicious another way to use the sago is you remember after you've strained it through the sieve and rinsed it uh, you can scoop the sago pearls back into bowls or into molds and let them chill in the fridge for a bit when they're cold, you can then turn them upside down and tip them out and they will have formed into like these little puddings, okay? And then what you want to do in, uh, is you can then separately uh, have a coconut milk or coconut cream with your jackfruit and some sugar, simmer it till the sugar's done and then pour it, serve your sago uh, molds, serve your sago puddings with the sauce over it, okay? And that will be kind of like a, a, a more visually compelling way to serve it, especially if you've got special guests for dinner. Um, and finally, um, the other way I would suggest using it is simply in what we call sarawa in Malaysia, which is like a, a sauce, okay? So in this case, jackfruit sauce, just cut up your jackfruit into chunks or in small pieces and then simmer it with some sugar. In this case, I use Malaysian palm sugar. You can use brown sugar if you want and some coconut cream or coconut milk. Uh, cook it up, you know, till it's thickened and it's nice and delicious. And you can use the sauce in lots of different ways. You can serve it up with your sago pudding if you want. You can serve it up with your sticky rice or even with your pancakes, okay? So there you go. These are just some of my suggestions on how to use Malaysian jackfruit. Next time you go shopping, make sure you keep an eye out for them. Remember, Malaysian jackfruit, especially a Malaysian fresh jackfruit, once you've tried it, you will never look back. You will never look at canned jackfruit the same way again. If you want these recipes or these cooking tips, make sure you sign up in the link that's going to flash up on screen in a little bit and you will get the cooking tips in your inbox along with all our recipes and other content that we have for you as well. I'm Jackie M and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.